here at the Matt 2013. We're just displaying some of our substrates here. It's our Aragolive calcium substrate. We're just kind of going over all the different types that we've got, the flavors of the month, and we're just making sure that everyone can kind of see the different sizes, different grains that we've got. We're just kind of, uh, people like to touch it and feel it, so you can see it here in the video. This is the Bahamas Oolite. That's our finest graded, most pure sand right there. Yeah. Made of pure calcium oolus out here in Florida. Uh, we've got all the different mixtures, everything. We've got the uh, Indo-Pacific black here. It's kind of a 50-50 mix. We've got some uh, volcanic black mixed in there with some uh, finer grade aragonite. Uh, over here we've got the Bimini pink, which is a mixture of fine sand. It's got some of the oolitic in there, but we have some larger sizes of these pink granules here just to add a little bit of different texture to a specific tank. Next and over here we've got the reef sand. This one here is a little bit larger grade, so if you're going to do a system that you might be doing some gravel vacuuming in, this one's a little bit easier to vacuum than, say, the sugar size substrate because, you know, it's not going to, it takes a little bit more to pull it up. But you can get some of the stuff out from underneath it. Next one over here, we've got the Hawaiian Black. And this one's a really popular substrate here. It's been one of our uh, top sellers recently. This one, we have a newer size. It's a little bit finer than our, our older version. But this one here, we still have a little bit of black or uh, white aragonite mixed in there. So we have the buffering capacity. This guy here is our tried and true. It's one of the original products that we started with. It's the Florida Crushed Coral. So in, 19, in 1972, that was the product that we started with. That was the original product. We started and uh, it's still a staple of our line. It's very popular for fish-only systems. It's uh, very easy to clean for people that are doing gravel vacuuming. And, you know, we're very proud of that product. Uh, next one over is for me on the West Coast and across the nation, actually. That's one of our top sellers is the Fiji Pink. And uh, it's a finer grade sand mixed with some small fine flecks of, uh, of pink shells and quartzite in there just for some extra color and texture in your tank. And the last one on the list is the West Caribbean Reef. That gives you a good mixture of very fine sand mixed with just large pieces of coral fragments and shells. Okay. And it gives you an interesting interesting looking reef tank. All right. Now, could you talk about your uh, your Tahitian moon sand and tell us uh, a little bit about it? The Tahitian moon sand, this is actually a freshwater substrate. You know, it's a uh, very shiny, very pure black. This stuff here has been a really popular substrate for people that are doing, you know, a, a species tank with fish that you know, can reflect off of that black substrate really well. Um, with this one here, you wouldn't want to use it in a, in a saltwater aquarium, mainly because it's it's not an aragonite base. It's not as porous as a standard uh, aragonite substrate, so it's not going to bacterial or as far as uh, biologically be as active as one of your other substrates here, like the Hawaiian black, that would look similar. But you can kind of see the difference yeah. there. Yeah, it's a lot of difference. Uh, this one here, it can. There's well, been people that will say it's slightly magnetic, so you'd want to be careful using expensive pumps, or you know, if you have an acrylic tank and you're using an algae cleaner that's on an acrylic tank, you don't want to get any pieces stuck in there because all it takes is one little grain of sand to ruin the whole panel of your, in front of your tank. But you know, this one, people will still use this in a saltwater system. Uh, but you have to keep in mind that it's it's not going to buffer your water in any capacity as, as nearly as well as any aragonite source. So if you're going to use the Tahitian moon sand in a saltwater aquarium, you have to make sure you're using a good quality calcium rock, live rock, something like this is our South Seas base rock. It's a pure aragonite calcium. This will help buffer the water in place of your substrate. Um, if that's not an option for you and you're going to use a volcanic with this and you still want to go with the uh, saltwater reef system with this Tahitian moon sand, we'd recommend at least having something, a, a bed of sand somewhere, a fluidized bed filter with a, a moving sand filter, just to keep that pH buffer natural. Now, let me ask you a question. I've, I've been by your booth before. I've spoken to you guys, and you guys always do a great job. Everybody on YouTube already knows that I utilize all of your products for the most part in the various tanks that I do. Um, I want to talk about a product that I haven't seen here in Florida. It's a, um, it's like. All right, we're going to talk a little bit about our new product called the Aragonite Repetium Kit, or ARC, as it's called. It comes in here just like this. It's in one bucket. And it's essentially everything you're going to need to start up a refugium on your tank, minus the refugium itself, and maybe the algae. So it all comes in a bucket right here. You're going to start with 
five pounds of mineral mud, same as that you can see in our packaging here that you can get separately. You're gonna start with five pounds here. The way that it works is you put this on the bottom, that's gonna be your base for your mineral, or for your refugium. Uh, on top of that, you're gonna get two 20 pound bags of our oolitic substrate, it's the Bahamas Oolite, and it's gonna be alive just like this in a regular bag. You're gonna use that on top of your mud. It's gonna create that layer, compact it down a little bit, prevent it from getting stirred up and moving into your system as well. Uh, on top of that, you're gonna get all this rubble. That's a 25 pound bag of rubble rock. It's all aragonite. It's gonna be the same base material as our, our reef rock, our South Seas base rock. Um, so it's all aragonite. You're gonna use that as the rubble top layer on top of your substrate. With that one, you're gonna get a bottle of our aquatic biotic, which is live bacteria to kind of kickstart that bacterial growth. Even though there's already bacteria in the sand, it doesn't hurt to get extra. You're gonna get a bottle of purple up, just because, you know, you gotta have a little bit of extra calcium in there, a little bit of extra minerals and everything for the refugium as well as in your tank. And to top it off, as in with our substrates, you're gonna get two bags of our biomagnet clarifier to help bind everything together and polish off that little bit of cloudiness that you might get with the new refugium. Now, as far as your the, the new product, the ARC, now, uh, obviously it stands for Aragonite Refugium Kit. Yes. Um, what is the recommended uh, tank size for the kit that you sell now, or how, what would you use it for? This one's going off of, for tank size of volume of tank? Yeah, for volume, volume of water, or volume of the tank itself. Volume of the tank itself, you know, you can probably use that one up to, depending on the livestock that's in the tank, obviously, you know, the more fish and corals you have, you're gonna wanna have more filtration, either bigger refugium, or big other filtration devices. But something like with this one here, one jug is gonna usually be used in a refugium of around 30 gallons. If you're going with 40 gallons, you can use the same kit and maybe add a little bit of extra mud. You can honestly add as much mud as you want to to get as much... As the the as you thickest want you, you want? Exactly. You okay. Can use, you can add more mud because we do some of the mineral mud separate. separate. So you can add more to it if you wanted to. Uh, the kit itself is designed for a refugium from anywhere from 20 to 30 gallons. Okay. Uh, for, which would equate to a tank size of anywhere up to 100, maybe 125. 125. But that's so, all variable depending on, you know, the size or what, what livestock is going to be in there. So you, you see JB's uh, saltwater fish tank, the 305, the Spartan. You would, say, you would say, and you know for a fact that... Uh, my sump is actually empty and waiting for a product to go in there. Now, being the fact that I'm here at MACDA 2013, I've decided, and I'm telling you guys here first on YouTube, I'm going with the ARC. So if you guys would like to try out the ARC, you can go to your local fish store and get yourself a, uh, a sample of it so you can put it in your refugium also. Um, and you have Eric here who has, is showing you the brochure. You can go online, I'm pretty sure it's on their website. Absolutely. And you can check out everything that it comes with in specifications. Uh, further information also is brought in there Caribs, uh, by caribsea.com, which is, this is their 2013 uh, magazine or brochure to show you the different items that they have for the year. Um, I will try to place a uh, link to it so you guys can go ahead and directly go to the page. And I would like to thank Eric for his time and so have it's always a pleasure to see you and i will see you at the next magna again awesome we appreciate the support thank you very much all right so I, this is J Essentially what this is, is it's got multiple purposes. Um, first purpose for that one would be if you're going to be doing something like a jawfish, fish that likes to burrow in a tank, you can use the rubble. They use that as a little uh, opening to the cage and stuff that they're going to burrow. It also makes a great topper to a refugium if you're doing little mini rock structures in a, in a shallow tank, small refugiums like that, or even nano tanks. It's a great little calcium aragonite rock to use. Uh, my personal favorite use of this, of this pond is to be used as a frag rock. As opposed to using a fake rock or some plastic or even like ceramic plug, this gives you a much more natural, unique look. They're super porous, there's plenty of openings in there to put small frags, even larger frags, depending on the size of the frags that you're doing. Uh, open this jar up and be a good look down the top. Now, so you can see what it looks like when you're opening this up. So this is a, a new product that you guys have just brought out also? Or it, we, this has this been on your market for a while? This actually is a brand new product. This is the first show that we're displaying it at. 
Um, it's not even available on the market yet, so we're trying to get some uh, attention on it just to get people kind of excited about it. And we're, we're, we think it's going to actually be pretty so, popular. So you, you, you're telling me that I, JB, Saltwater Fish Taker Friends is touching the first rock of this rubber zone product besides the people who work for the company. Besides myself, then it's already put frags on it, yes. <laughs> okay, you know what? So guess what? You guys are getting a super exclusive, and you can see the rock is very porous. It has a slot in the center. This particular one actually has a slot, so you can fit a core right in. You can use your regular glue. Uh, would you uh, would you recommend rinsing the rock off just to make sure that the glue sticks, or uh, how do you guys? Okay. Yeah. Uh, what 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 is your personal preference on the the glue to utilize for uh, to put on the rock, or or any any product at that? I don't have a specific brand that I use. I do prefer to use, the, if I'm doing or the, Stoney, I like to use the, the gel binding. Glue. Okay, so anything with uh, the cyan or uh, the cre uh, creano gel? Yes. Okay, all right, so uh, obviously, you know, Caribsy doesn't make their own glue yet, but, you know, I'm hoping that they come out with one soon since they're already selling the rocks to go with it. You know, maybe it'll be a, a kit where the glue is inside the bottle also, you know, near 2014, Magna 2014. We'll see. <laughs> but, like tossing ideas around. <laughs> but you, as you guys can see, it's a very porous rubble rock. They're all different shapes and sizes. So they'll look very natural in your tank. And they're, they're also uh, very... Uh, calcium fortified so you can have a lot uh, your corals will do well on them and it's very uh, highly recommended for uh, SPS tanks and uh, they also have larger pieces actually this is essentially the same source material this is a product that we've had for a little while now but it's get, getting some momentum in the market this is our South Seas base rock it's a pure aragonite calcium carbonate uh, rock it's harvested in Florida here in the 13 magnetism and we pulled this out of a mine here in Florida on an extinct coral reef so we're not taking this out of the ocean but it still is geologically young enough to have the same chemical makeup and the same uh, properties as a regular live rock. It will act the same way as a live rock in a running tank. So it's super porous and you know there's great little spots on yeah. this as well for quick frags or even full-size corals. And now does these uh, rocks come in different sizes or are they just one size or are they have a weight? These ones we sell to stores in a couple different ways. You can sell it to a store as a, as a pile like this in a 500 pound El pal pallet. Or, rock. or we sell it to the, to the stores in a 40 pound box. The customer can come in and pick and choose each individual piece. Or we also have the bag of rock technique. Yep, bag of rock. This is a 10 pound bag of rock. You can kind of see there's some cool shelf pieces in there couple different ones. So this is just something that you'll see on a shelf hopefully soon. A lot of stores will start picking this up. It just makes it easier for someone with a, with a smaller size tank to just walk in and pick that up. Now this has a label on it. South Sea Base Rock Premium Selection. The Sponge Rock. Ideal for marine reef or African cichlid aquariums. Yeah. Um, you guys actually tested these rocks in different these different style of aquariums? or Absolutely, yes. Okay, so it's uh, all of this that it says inside the label, which I'm not going to read off because it's a long list of, uh, wow, not bleach or reef collected. So guess what? It's natural to the environment, um, so it does it does a job. And there's, they're all unique shapes. You're not going to get two pieces that are the same. It's all pure aragonite, so it will help buffer your, your salt water, keep it at the proper pH. It's also uh, super porous, that's why they call it the sponge rock. Because this one here, it provides the uh, optimum growth for live bacteria, and we want to get as much surface area as possible. If it's a smooth rock, you're just going to get bacteria on it, not too deep in it. This one here is porous all the way through, you can get bacteria anywhere that there's access to water and a little bit of fresh and fresh oxygen. So it also makes it easy to get corals to adhere, especially coraling algae. It adheres to that very well. It's easy to get a good coraling algae started on that. You guys always do a great job with every product that you guys come out with. Um, I noticed that also next to the uh, rocks you have the Carib Sea Pure or Sea Pure. Um, is there, uh, it, uh, this is natural seawater or what is it? This is natural seawater and we're actually, all the tanks here at Magna 2013, I can't say all of them because some of them are different water, but a large majority of the tanks here at Magna 2013 are filled with our Sea Pure water, which makes us one of the official sponsors of the Magna 2013. So you guys are getting information the pallet. by the pallets. Wow. So as you can see, Magna 2013, you know, uh, 25th Magna year. Uh, 
Sea Pure or Carib Sea is actually the official sponsor of their seawater here. Um, so all the tanks that you, you'll see, uh, if they're sponsored by uh, the Sea Pure water, I'll definitely put a link so you guys know that it's a Sea Pure quality uh, tank. Um, so any other products or any other things do you, do you think that these uh, YouTube YouTubers might be interested in. There's actually one more type of rock that we've got here. This is the South Seas base rock here. We've got a different type of rock which I'll just bring over here because we got a crowded booth. This booth has been nothing but a madhouse all day long. I mean, people are coming by in and out, left and right. This stuff here is called our Primo Reef Rock. It's just harvested from a little bit different source than our South Seas base rock. It has a little bit different look to it. You know, some people prefer the different colors and the different shapes that this rock provides versus the South Seas base rock. Um, it's just a matter of opinion. You know, we want to have as much variety for each person, for each tank. Some people want it one way, another person wants it another way. We've got a rock for each. So they're both. This is also another aragonite source. It's also from an extinct coral reef. So it's calcium carbonate. It's going to act as a buffer, just like your South Seas base rock or even your calcium substrates. All right, so that looks like another great product by Caribsea.